The following is a lecture given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 18th of May, 1972, in Los Angeles, California. ओम Shaddaitang Shabadhutang Parijana Sahitang Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishakha Nitangs He Krishna Karuna Sandho Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopi Sagopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhi Vindavaneshari Brikhamhana Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunitananda Sri Addaita Gadadhar Sivashadi Gaur Bhaktabinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram So, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for your kindly participating in our Krishna Consciousness Movement. As you know from the very name, Krishna Consciousness, when this society was registered in 1966 in New York, some friends suggested that the society may be named as God Consciousness. Krishna, they thought that Krishna, in the dictionary also it is said, Krishna is the Hindu God's name in English dictionary. But actually, if there is any name or if there any name can be fixed up for God, it is Krishna. God has practically no name. No name means He has name, but nobody knows how many names He has. But God is unlimited, therefore His names must be also unlimited. You cannot fix up one name. Just like Krishna is sometimes called Jasadananda, the son of Mother Jasuda. That is quite all right, because he played the part of son of Jasadana. So Jasadananda means son of Jasuda. Devaki Nanda, son of Devaki. Vasudeva Nanda, Nanda Nanda, Parthasarasi. Parthasarasi means he acted as the charioteer of Arjun, Partha, the son of Pritha. Arjun's mother's name was Pritha. So Arjun's another name, Partha. And because he acted as the charioteer of Partha, his name is Parthasar. So actually Krishna or God has many dealings with his many devotees and in that particular dealing may be called his name. Therefore, he has innumerable devotees, 
Therefore, he has innumerable names. You cannot fix up one name. But this Krishna name means all attract. He attracts everyone. That is the real name. All attract. We have seen Krishna's picture. He is attracted to the animals, cows, calves, birds, bees, trees, plants, water, and Vrindavan. He is attracted to the cowherd's boy. He is attractive to the gopis. He is attractive to Nanda Maharaj. He is attractive to the Pandavas. He is still attractive to the whole human society. Therefore, if any particular name can be given to God, that is Krishna. And Parasar Muni, a great sage, father of Vyasdev, who compiled all the Vedic literatures, his father, Parasar Muni, he gave definition of God. Oisarjasa samagrasa bijasa jasasa sriya jnana vairagayasaiva saraiti bhavangana. The six opulences, one can ascertain what is God. What are those opulences? That he is the proprietor of all riches. Here we have got experience, one rich man. One may be very rich man, but nobody can say that he is the richest. There is no other man who is not richer than him. Nobody can say. But Krishna, when he was present, those who have read Srimad Bhagavatam, the history of Krishna, we have described in our book Krishna. He had 16,108 wives, and each wife had a big palace made of marble, bedecked with jewels, the furnitures made of ivory and gold. The descriptions are there. So in the history of the human society, you cannot find out any person who had 16,000 wives and 16,000 palaces. Not only that, it is not that he used to go to one wife's house one day or one night. No. He was present in every one house personally. That means he expanded himself in 16,108 forms. That is not very difficult. If God is unlimited, then he can expand himself in unlimited forms. Otherwise there is no meaning of unlimited. If God is omnipotent, he can maintain 16,000. Why 16,000? If he maintains 16 millions, still it is imperfect. Otherwise there is no meaning of omnipotency. So these are the attractive features. Here in this material world, if one man is very rich, he is attractive. Just like in your country, there are rich men, Rockefeller, Ford. They are very attractive on account of their richness. So he suggests some. Still, they do not possess all the wealth, riches of the world. Still, they are attractive. Now, how much God will be attractive? Because He is the possessor of all the riches. Similarly, he suggests some strength. Krishna Hain was present from the beginning of his birth. He had to fight when he was only three months old. He was lying down on the lap of his mother. There was a putana demon. She wanted to kill Krishna, but she was killed. That is God. God is from the very beginning God. Not that by some meditation, by mystic power one becomes God. Krishna was not that type of God. Krishna was God from the very beginning of His appearance. Bijasa. Aishadjasa, Samagrasa, Bijasa, Jasasa. Then reputation. His fame, reputation is still going on. Apart from us, we are devotees of Krishna, we may glorify Him. But apart from us, Many millions of people are there in this world. Still, they know how much reputed and famous is Krishna by his Bhagavad Gita. In all countries, all over the world, this Bhagavad Gita is read by all philosophers, all scholars, all religions. Still, those who are reading Bhagavad Gita, there are many editions in your country, there are many editions. All of them are selling nicely. 
our bhagavad gita bhagavad gita as it is the latest report is from the trades manager of macmillan company who are our publisher the report is that our bhagavad gita as it is is increasing in sales other said decrease the reason is that we are presenting bhagavad gita as it is without any adulteration gold if it is pure it has more customers milk if it is pure it has got more customers so that we are finding because we are presenting bhagavad gita as it is we are finding more customers so this is the fame and jasasa sriya sriya beauty krishna is himself very beautiful and all his associates are very beautiful that is also opulence janmai sadya suta sri in his material world those who are pious that means whose past background is pious life they get these opportunities but in good family in good nation that what i say so many times that you american people your birth in a rich nation your beauty these are the result of your past pious activities attractive these are attractiveness you are attractive the american nation all over the world why due to this you are advanced in scientific knowledge you are advanced in riches you are advanced in beauty so these are the opulences so this planet is in an insignificant planet within this universe and within this planet say america is one country and in that country if there are so many attractive features just imagine how much attractive feature must be there in god who is the creator of the whole cosmic manifestation how much he must be beautiful who has created all beauties that aishadya sa samagra sa bija sa jasa sa sriya sriya means beauty gyana and knowledge if one man is perfectly advanced in knowledge he is attracted some scientist some philosopher because they give nice knowledge they are attracted and krishna's knowledge they describe in shrimad bhagavatam bhagavad gita you can study they are studying now you are presenting in english translation sublime knowledge there is no comparison in the world and at the same time vairag renouncement not that because he has got so many things practically krishna is not here within this material world just like big man his factory is going on his business is going on but it not necessarily he has to represent them similarly krishna's potency is working his assistants his so many demigods they are working they describe in this shastra that's like this sun sun is the practical cause of this material cosmic manifestation that is described in the brahma sanghita jat chakshuri sasavita sagal grahana raja samast suravurti asi sutija jasadvaya bhramati sang bhitukal chakru govindamadi purusham tamam bhajami govinda the sun is described one of the eyes of god he is seeing everything you cannot hide yourself from the seeing of god as you cannot hide yourself from the sun sign so in this way god's name there can be any name and it is admitted in vedic literature that god has got many names but this krishna name is the chief name mukha mukha means principle and it is very nicely explained all attractive in so many ways he is all attractive so god's name the krishna consciousness moment is propagating a god's name god's glory god's activities god's beauty god's love everything as we have got many things within this material world all of them they are in krishna whatever you have got just that like here the most prominent feature in this material world is sex attraction that is there in krishna we are worshiping radha and krishna attraction but that attraction and this attraction 
is not the same. That is real, and here it is unreal. We are also dealing with everything which are present in the spiritual world, but it is only reflection. It has no real value. Just like in the tailor's shop, sometimes there are so many beautiful dolls. A beautiful girl is standing, but nobody cares to see it, because everyone knows that it is false. However beautiful it may be, it is false. But a living woman, if she is beautiful, so many people see it. But then this is real. This is an example. Here the so-called living is also dead, because the body is matter. It is a lump of matter. As soon as the soul goes away from the same beautiful woman, nobody cares to see it, because it is as good as the doll on the window of Taylor's song. The real factor is the spirit soul. And because here everything is made of dead matter, therefore it is simply imitation, reflection. The real thing is in the spiritual world. There is a spiritual world. Those who have read Bhagavad Gita, they can understand. The spiritual world is described as parastha smatu bhava anya bhaktya bhaktya sanatana. Bhava means nature. There is another nature. Beyond this nature, we can see this nature up to the limit of the sky. The scientists, they are trying to go to the highest planet, but they are calculating it will take forty thousands of years. So who is going to leave for forty thousands of years, go and come back? But there is planet. So we cannot calculate even the length and breadth of this material world, what to speak of the spiritual world. Therefore we have to know from authoritative sources. That authoritative source is Krishna because we have already described, nobody is wiser or in knowledge than Krishna. So Krishna gives this knowledge that parastha smartu bhava yanya, beyond this material world, there is another spiritual sky. There are also innumerable planets, and that sky is far, far greater than this sky. It is one-fourth only, and the spiritual sky is three-fourth. That is described in the Bhagavad Gita. This is only one part, this material world. The other spiritual world is threefold. Suppose God's creation is one hundred. It is only twenty-five percent. Seventy-five percent is there. Similarly, the living entities also, a very small fragmental portion of the living entities are here. And there in the spiritual world, the major portion are there. This material world is compared as prison. So if you go to the prison house, it is not that the whole population of the country is within the prison house. No. A fragmental portion of the population, those who are criminals, they are in the prison house. Similarly, those who are criminals, those who have revolted against God, they are within this material world. Krishna bhuliya jiva bhogavan chakare, pasate maya tare japotiya dhare. Maya, just like here also, if we say, I don't care for the government, I will be arrested, I will be punished. Similarly, living entities are originally part and parcel of God, just like father and sons, the Christian people also understand. God is Supreme Father, and we are all His sons. You go to church and pray, God give us our daily prayer, Father. So that is concept said in Bhagavad Gita also. Krishna says, I am Father of all living entities. Ahanga bija pudapita, sarvajoni su kaunteya, sambhavanti murtayaja, tasang mahajjani brahma, ahanga bija pudapita. In all varieties of species of life, there are eight million four hundred thousand species of life. The aquatics, the trees, the plants, the birds, the bees, the insects, then human being. Out of the human being also there are so many uncivilized. The civilized human being are very few. And out of the civilized human being, very few take to religious life. Very few. And out of the so-called religious human society, most of them they simply 
designate I am Hindu, I am Muslim, I am Christian, but they do not know about religion. And one who knows about, not knows, little attracted, they are engaged in philanthropic work. Help to the poor, hard to open a school, hospital. This is called karma kanda. Out of many millions of this karma kanda, one is gani. Gani means one who knows. And out of millions of persons who knows, one is liberated. And out of millions of liberated persons, one can understand what is Krishna. This is the position of Krishna. Manasharam sahasya su kaschit jatati siddhaye jatatam api siddhyanam kaschit veti maam tattata. So, to understand Krishna is little difficult. Actually, to understand God is a subject matter, very difficult. But the God Himself is explaining Himself in the Bhagavad Gita. I am like this, I am like this. This material nature is like this. The spiritual nature is like this. The living entities are like this. Everything are completely described in the Bhagavad Gita. God Himself giving His own knowledge. And that is the only process to understand God. Otherwise, by speculation, we cannot understand God. It is not possible. He is unlimited and we are limited. Our knowledge, our perception, all of that are very limited. So how we can understand the unlimited? But if we accept the version of the unlimited, that He is like this, like that, then we can understand. That is perfect knowledge. Speculative knowledge of God has no value. Real knowledge, just like I give this example, just like if a boy wants to know who is his father, the simple thing is to ask mother, or mother gives, here is your father. That is perfect knowledge. And if you speculate, who is my father, and ask the whole city, are you my father, are you my father, are you my father, the knowledge will always remain imperfect. He will never find out what is his father. But this simple process, if he takes the knowledge from his father, the authority, mother, my dear boy, here is your father. Then your knowledge is perfect. Similarly, transcendental knowledge, just like I was speaking, that there is a spiritual world. It is not the subject matter of our speculation. But when God says, yes, there is a spiritual world, that is my headquarters. That is all. So we receive knowledge from Krishna, the best authority. Therefore our knowledge is perfect. We are not perfect, but our knowledge is perfect, because we receive knowledge from the perfect. The same example, that I am not perfect to understand who is my father, but my mother is perfect. And because I accept the perfect knowledge of my mother, therefore my knowledge of father is perfect. So this Krishna consciousness movement is for giving perfect knowledge to the human society. What he is, what is God, what is this material world, why you have come here, why you have to undergo so much tribulations, miserable condition of life, why I die, I do not like to die, but death is compulsory, I do not like to be old man. Still, it is compulsory. I do not like to suffer from disease, but it is compulsory. These are to be solved. That is really problems of human life. Not that improving the method of eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. That is not human life. A man sleeps, a dog sleeps. So, because a man sleeps in a very nice apartment, that does not mean he is advanced more than the dog. The business is sleeping. That's all. Because man has discovered atomic weapon for defending, and that dog has his nails and teeth, he can also defend. So defending is there. You cannot say that because I have got this atomic bomb, therefore I can conquer the whole world or whole universe. That is not possible. You can defend in your own way. And the dog can also defend in his own way. So, a gorgeous method of defending, a gorgeous method of eating, 
a gorgeous method of sleeping and a gorgeous method of sex life does not make a nation or a person advanced. That is not advanced. That is the same thing. Proportionately, five upon two thousand, five hundred upon two thousand and five upon twenty, the same ratio. Therefore, the animal qualities in a polished way, in a scientific way, does not mean that the human society is advanced. That may be called polished animalism. That's all. Real advancement means to know God. That is advanced. If you are lacking that knowledge, what is God? And because you cannot understand, there are so many rascals that deny the existence of God. That is very nice. If there is no God, that they can go on with their sinful activities, unrestricted. There is no God. Very nice. But simply by your denying God, you will not die. God is there. God is there. His administration is there. By His order, the sun is rising, the moon is rising, the water is flowing, the ocean is abiding by His order. Everything under His order. Everything going on. Nicely. Without any change. How you can say God is dead? If there is some mismanagement, you can say there is no government. But if there is nice management, how you can say there is no God? So God is there. You do not know God. Therefore, some of you say that God is dead, there is no God, God has no form, God is zero, so many. But no, we are firmly convinced that there is God, and Krishna is God, and we are worshipping Him. That is Krishna consciousness movement. Try to understand this. Thank you very much.